The date was the 18th of July, 2022. It was a hot, muggy day in the fine state of New Jersey. I, as usual, was alone in my stuffy room playing Elden Ring. I just got done marrying Ronnie the Witch for the 34th time and was looking for more trouble to cause in the lands between. And then, it happened. I have been playing video games for over 20 years now, and I can count on one hand the amount of time that this particular event has happened to me before. Honestly, it's a miracle that I even remembered to press the record button while I was basking in its bountiful glory. Are you ready to see this triumphant moment that all gamers crave, but only a select few ever obtain the sacred privilege of experiencing? You better grab a chair, because you're not going to be able to handle this standing up. Are you... Alright. Alright. I can see what you're saying right now. Hey, the Jersey side, this isn't special. You're just walking on the beach in a video game. This is boring. Well, 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 how very observant fictional guy I made up in my head to bring up my next point. Allow me to elaborate on what's going on here. You see, people play video games for many different reasons. Whether it be competition, cooperation, simply passing the time, or any other reason that your little heart desires. However, there is one aspect of gaming that I will treasure above all else until the day I leave this fine earth for good. Immersion. Immersion is the fuel that feeds the flame of ambition. It is the impetus that ingrains the mindset of the protagonist within you. Now, you could argue that every game is immersive. No one is always thinking about lines of code or textures throughout the entirety of their playtime. I'll grant you that much. But there are undeniably levels of immersion. There are base levels that let you enjoy scenery, characters, gameplay mechanics, and whatever you may encounter along your journey. This is not what I'm talking about. There are deeper, more fleeting moments of immersion that allow you to become part of the scenery yourself. Not to simply pass through the game world, but to drink up the world and become one with it. Much like an airplane passing through a thick cloud, your vision is obscured to all the shortcomings of the outside world. The unaffordability of housing, the skyrocketing prices of fuel, the ever-present political strife all feels like a bad dream that you slowly but surely forget as you go about your day. You were the one who started from nothing, and via constant trial and error, you got good. You were the one who failed demigod after demigod. You were the one who traveled where no man has gone before to satisfy your goals. You were the one who defeated a god and ushered in a new age of your choosing. You were the one who married the princess. And after all is said and done, you have finally reached the light at the end of the tunnel. Standing here... Along the shoreline, you know, in your heart, and in your head, every second of pain, trial, and tribulation was worth it. Okay, but where's the fun part? Ah! You're still here. Oh, sorry, I lost myself for a little while there. I must have been really immersed in what I was talking about. Yeah, this sounds cool and all, but I think I'm gonna play something with more excitement and action. Maybe something like Battlefield 2042. I heard they just implemented a pay-to-win red dot site. See you later, losers. Well, eh, if he has fun with the game, all the more power to him. Not sure how you could have fun with that one, though. That game is like New Jersey if it was a video game. Hopelessly broken on every single fundamental level. And on fire. Thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this strange little video. I hope you can relate to it in some way, shape, or form. I think I'll be posting more like this in the coming days. So if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a subscription. And if you've had any similar experiences to what I described, be sure to leave a comment about it what game it was, when you experienced it, or any other details you feel like sharing. Thank you, and uh, that'll be all from me today. Have a good one. Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we?